What is the biodiversity game? I imagine it as the most important game of Jenga in the world. Each block a different ecosystem. Each block dependent on the other. Each block at risk of being lost. If we pull one too many blocks, everything could come crashing down. But it's not game over yet. We travel to Colombia, one of the most biodiverse countries on Earth, to get inspired by the connection between humans and the natural world. In this moment, the community of us has lived for many years. We have already all the farms, the cultivation, all the indígenas, and we always live in their territory. How are we going to fit all of this beauty instead of this one block? Mira, ven, estos son los pastizales. I love this mountain. Representan los mangles. Estos postras, muchas afluentes de ríos por todos lados. From dry deserts to coral reefs, our landscape designer Milton spent weeks crafting the perfect miniature landscapes that captured the nuances of every ecosystem. And yet, there was still one thing missing. Wildlife. We shared our ecosystems with over 150 students, inviting them to populate each one with their favorite animal. Mi animal es el cocodrilo. La rama de montaña. El iguana. <laughs> All facilitated by our art coordinator, Riza. Look, Ben, this is so cute. This is amazing. Me encantan, los amo. And before we knew it, our ecosystems were brimming with life. Ready to be joined together with the help of our engineer Johnny and his talented team. We created 33 different ecosystems, stacked them into three big chunks, assembled them over two days, all to create one unified tower. A biodiversity monument celebrating the interdependence of all living things. All connected by... El agua. El agua asociado y conectado en todo. Desde los glaciares, bosques altoandinos y ya hay ecosistemas de páramos. Todo lo que empieza a descender, desemboca otra vez en el mar. Esta es la conectividad más bella que hay. But our world has more than just healthy biodiversity blocks. They also have blocks that are being removed... and destroyed. Hola. Soy Chila. Pues este es mi restaurante, el Sazón de Chila. ¿Me entendió? Donde he tenido que correr y correr y correr con el mar porque no me ha dejado en paz. Entonces por ahorita lo tengo aquí. Así que bienvenido. We met Sheila and many others who told us stories about how climate change and ecosystem collapse are threatening the stability of their lives. So we asked Sasha Herrera, another local artist, to take on the daunting task of bringing some of the leading causes of biodiversity loss to life. Here is when the pollution comes from the factory. Es acerca de la ganadería industrial. Monocultivos. Expansión urbana. Deforestación. Nosotros los humanos contaminamos constantemente nuestros ríos preciosos. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the problems. But we need to think about solutions. That's why we decided to build our art installation in Cali, Colombia, right in the heart of COP16. The United Nations Biodiversity Conference where delegates from 196 countries are coming together to discuss how to protect 30% of nature by 2030. They're going to talk about how to stop this from happening and start talking about this. New ideas and systems for how to put blocks back in and let nature heal itself. And my friend Michael is the brains behind one of these exciting new solutions. That's what we're after, right? Our sea trees biodiversity blocks ensure that coastal restoration projects have the greatest chance to succeed through measuring the transformation and rehabilitation wild when you see them all there of ecosystems over time 
and by providing the tools, technologies, and expertise to the communities that are empowered to do the work. That kind of solution to catalyze this entire effort. And whether it's a group of delegates, a classroom full of kids, a loving family, or a dedicated team of artists, real change happens when we come together as a community. When people from all walks of life brainstorm, collaborate, contribute, and persevere, we can go from this terrible little pencil sketch to a giant six meter tall art installation. My hope is that we can use this monument to remind everyone that we are not separate from nature, but a part of it. Con la relación con la naturaleza me hace sentir muy bien porque yo vivo en la naturaleza. To win at the biodiversity game, we can't just keep taking blocks out. Eso es mi vida personal. Con eso nos criaron nuestros padres y siempre vivió de eso. We need to find ways of putting blocks back in. How we play the game matters, and so the question is, what's our next move?